Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Fatima and Hibban? Good. Okay, so in our last session, we had a discussion about the Sunnah acts of the prayer or recommended acts of the prayer. The first act which is recommended in the prayer after saying Allahu Akbar, the first opening takbir, the first Sunnah act is saying Sana. Sana. Can, you can any one of you repeat what Sana is? Subhanak Allahumma wabi. Watabara. Good job. Then we also covered after that reading A'udhu Billah. Okay, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shay. Fatima Hibban, please raise your hand and whatever I'm asking, just answer that. Okay. After reading A'udhu Billahi Minash Shay, Allah Rajim, we have to read Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is what we have to do it. Okay, you have to read Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Now tell me one thing, Hibban. If you somehow forget to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, is your salah valid? Mm. Or do you have to repeat the prayer? We don't need to. You don't need to repeat the prayer. Good job. Why you don't need to repeat the prayer? Because it's recommended. Good job. It's not one of the obligatory acts. But does it mean that you should leave saying Bismillah? No, I forget. No. Forget. You should definitely read Bismillah in every salah. But if you miss it, it does not mean that your salah, you have it have to be repeated. You don't have to repeat the prayer then, okay? Yeah. If okay. Do it by mistake, then you need to repeat No, you don't need to repeat. Okay, let's start. Bismillah. What does Bismillah mean? Bismillah. Okay, Bismillah is a phrase we have to use every single time. You are starting your school, opening your book. What do you have to say? Bismillah. You are starting your new class, new subject, anything. Bismillah. You are starting any game, you have to say? Bismillah. You are playing. Oh, playing. Bismillah. Okay. Bismillah means in the name of Allah. You are eating food. Pizza. Mmm. Yummy. Jonah. Before eating, before taking the first morsel, what do you have to say? Bismillah. Mmm. Oh, come on. Bismillah. In the name of? Allah. In the name of Allah. Okay. Ar-Rahman. The most loving. The most? Loving. Loving. Ar Rahim. And the most forgiving. Uh, most forgiving, also most merciful, also. Is it clear? Mo so when you, when you say Bismillah in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, the most loving, the most compassionate, the most merciful, Ar Rahim, the, the most forgiving. forgiving. The most forgiving. Is it clear, Ibn Fatima? Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So you have to say this. So basically, you start your prayer, Hibban. Wow. Say Subhanakallah complete, Sana. Then A'udhu Billah complete. Then Bismillah complete. Do you have to recite this Hibban loudly or slowly if you are Imam? What? Sana, A'udhu Billah, Bismillah. Uh, yeah. No, no. Slowly or loudly? Slowly. Hmm? Slowly. Slowly, right? You don't have to read loudly. Because. These things have to be decided in your heart. Not in your heart, but slowly. No one should hear it. But then you should recite loudly if you are Imam, that is Surah Al Fatiha. Is it clear? In the Rahul Asar. In the Asar, we have to recite slowly everything. Okay. So in Salah, A'udhu yeah. Billah, Bismillah, these three are the acts of Salah. Sunnah. Then comes the obligatory act of Fatiha. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. But let's move to the next uh, recommended act. Takbir except opening takbir. Okay, what opening takbir? Is it the obligatory act or is it the recommended act? The first prayer, the first takbir. Hey, ban. It's obligatory. Are you sure? No, it's recommended. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. No, it's obligatory. First time you were correct. I was just checking you how confident you were. Whatever you say, stay confident. No, Abba, I'm right. That it was an obligatory. Abba, I'm right, you are wrong. Okay? I'll pick you up again, okay? So again, the first takbir is? Allahu Akbar. 
Is it obligatory or recommended? Obligatory. Is it? Yeah. Good job. Just be confident. Okay. Be confident. Fatima. Now, you said Auzu Billah, you said Sana, Auzu Billah, Bismillah, Fatiha, and the Surah you recited, okay? Now, after maybe Surah Ikhlas, let's say, you would say Allahu Akbar to go into the Ruku, yes or no? Yes. yes. That Allahu Akbar, that Takbir, is it obligatory or recommended? Only Fatima. Uh, 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 obligatory? Recommended. Hmm? Obligatory. Remember this rule. Remember this rule. Yeah. Only the first takbir, opening takbir, is obligatory. The rest takbir is recommended. <laughs> okay. Okay, bun. Write it down. Write this down. The first takbir, when you say a long word to begin your prayer, that is obligatory. The rest of the takbir is recommended. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. So you say Allahu Akbar and you go into the ruku. And have you already discussed how you will go into the ruku, right? Yes. Your back need to be straight. Okay, what do you have to recite? Subhana Rabbi al -Azim. Is it clear? Yes. Now saying Subhana Rabbi al -Azim, Saying Subhana Rabbi al -Azim, Going into the ruku, is it obligatory or recommended, I Fatima? Know. Good job, it's obligatory. Yeah. But to say Subhana Rabbi al Azim in Ruku is recommended. It's recommended. Yeah. Okay? So we are discussing recommended acts, Sunnah acts, so that's why some we are. Saying, hmm? Some of this is saying, some of this is obligatory. No, 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 no. All of this is recommended. Which which one you feel like it's obligatory, Ban? Takbir, opening except takbir. opening takbir. See, what I told you the opening takbir is? The first takbir. It's obligatory, right? Yeah. All the other takbirs are recommended. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the sunnah is recommend takbir except the opening takbir. All the takbir except the opening takbir is recommended. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you have to say Subhana Rabbi Al? Uh, Allah. Ah. In Ruku. Uh, you have to say Azim because in Sajda you will say Subhana Rabbi Al? La. <laughs> <laughs> Say Subhana Rabbi Al A'la. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Subhana Rabbi Al A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al A'la. MashaAllah, you have a good voice, man. Okay, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, you are in the coup. Who will tell me the translation of Subhana Rabbi Al Azim? Ah, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim. Oh, Okay. Oh, wow. The one word they talk. Glory be upon you, upon you. Glory uh, be to Allah or no, glory be the to The most merciful. Uh -huh. The most compassionate. Glory be to my Lord. Lord. Shakir. The most merciful. Shakir. No. Shakir. Glory be to my Lord, the Great. The Great. Is it clear? Yeah. So when you say Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, Fatima, it means glory be to my Lord. It means my Rabb, my Allah, you are so awesome. That's what you are saying. Is it clear? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Fatima, can tell me one thing. When last time Abba took you to Dollar Tree and you bought you bought so many gifts, remember Fatima? Yeah. When you came back home, what did you do? You said, Abba, you are the best Abba, right? Yeah. You said this, right? <laughs> Allah has given us so many things. Yes or no? Yes. More than you give. So, does He deserve our praises and compliments? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's what we are doing. Glory be to my Lord, the Great. Allah, you are so awesome. You deserve all the praises, all the glorification. And you are so great. That's what we are doing in the Ruku. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have this side. English, English. If we do all the recommended acts and all the obligatory acts, what happens? Then we will get extra reward. If you do only obligatory act, you will get less reward. Is if it clear? We do both, then how much reward? So much reward. English, Fatima, no one will understand that language. Uh, now I do. I already know one act, I will do two more. Good job. Good job. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, let's do the final thing before we can end. 
So you said Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, which is recommended act. Okay. Then you are going to stand, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, then you are going to stand. What you have to say once you stand? Good job. Uh, wait a minute. You don't have to say both together. Okay? Because both of them are separate sentences. Okay? What does that Samia Good job. The first, the first can be an obligatory name. Okay, Samia Allahu Liman Hamida. Hiban and Fatima. When you stand, you have to say Samia Allahu Liman. Here is my Lord. Listen to me. Don't look at your notebook. Samia Allahu Liman Hamida. If you are praying in Jamar, only Imam will say this. You don't have to say this if you are praying in the back. If you are praying alone, Fatma, keep hands. What is the etiquette of your name? hands. How? Like this or like this? Like this. Okay? Why? Because you don't want others to see the germs and bacteria in your mouth, right? So keep it like this and try to decrease your voice as much as you can. Okay? This is recommended way of taking your name. Okay? If you have to, try to reduce it, but if you have to, then like, like this. this. No, like this. Good job. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Hamida. Okay. I'll tell you the meaning. No, you, you, you can't tell because we are, I don't think so we discuss this. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Allah. Are you writing it down? Where are you written it? Allah have heard. The one who is I will tell you Allah has heard what? the one who is praising him Heard means If you will call me Abba And if I will hear you You will say Abba have heard me I was calling Abba Abba have heard me right? <laughs> okay So when we say Sami Allah Muliman Hamidah it means basically Allah have heard the one who was praising him. It I'm means what, Faiban and Fatima? Allah. It means what? It means basically when we are praising Allah, who is listening to us? Me. Allah. Allah is listening to us. And we are saying Allah have listened, Allah have heard us when we were praising him. Is it clear? Yes. Sorry? He didn't listen, he heard. Listen and heard the same thing, Fatima and Iban. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, Sami Allah Liman Hamidah, Fatima, what does it mean? Quickly. Allah have heard, uh, uh, Allah have heard us in our prayer. No, Allah have heard no. us when we... No, no. Allah. You know why you, why, you didn't, why you didn't pay attention? Mm -hmm. Because you were distracted. Mm -hmm. So, try to pay attention, Fatima. Allah have heard, see, Allah have heard the one who is praising him. Okay? What does it mean, Sami Allah Liman Hamidah? Allah have heard the one who... Are you Fatima? Allah, I thought you were Allah has heard the one who is, who is loving him. Oh. Praising. Praising him. Good job. Again, pay attention. Don't get distracted, Fatima. Okay? Good job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The last thing before we can end today's session, okay? Doesn't when you say Sami Allah Liman Hamid Iban. It means what? Allah have heard. Fatma, sit down. Allah. And Fatma, relax. Take a deep breath. Do you want me to continue this? Okay, then please pay attention. Sami Allah Liman Hamida means? Allah have heard whoever is praising him. Good job. Give me other. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Fatma, please. Please. Thank you. Sami Allah Liman Hamida. Rabbana. Okay, so let's start the translation. When you say, indeed Allah have heard who was praising him, Fatma, keep hands on your mouth and you're yawning. This is the final warning for you. Otherwise, next class, you won't be allowed in the class. I'm sorry. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Rabbana wa lakalham. Okay, what does it mean? It means, our master, or our Lord,
all phrases and tanks is for you. Is it clear? Yeah. Are you writing it down, Satama? All our master, all praises and thanks is for you. Is it clear? Yeah. So what does it mean, Sami Allah Alim Al Hamida? Hey, what does it mean, Sami Allah Alim Al Hamida? No, Sami Allah Alim Al Hamida. Allah has the one who is praising him. Good job. Fatima, Rabbana wa lak al hamd. Our master, our praises and thanks is for you. Excellent. Give me a five. Give me a bite. Okay. Next class, we are going to discuss the remaining acts of the Sunnah, Sunnah. which is the Tasbih in the Sajda, that's Subhanahu Rabbi Al A'la, and the Dua between the Sajda. Is it clear? Yes, we did not But we'll do it again, and we'll conclude with the Dua before Salam, and we'll be done with the prayer. Is it clear? Then what do we do? Which Zakat? Sorry? Wow. No, there are other acts of the prayer, which is the Sunnah prayer. And then there is uh, uh, there there is uh, uh, the acts after the prayer. There are certain duas that you have to read. There's so many things left. Uh -huh. Is it clear? There are invalidators of the prayer, things which invalidate the prayer. We'll discuss that. What after okay? prayer? That's what we're going to discuss it, inshallah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamualaikum.